what's going on guys back at the shop um just we i just got back on monday um from driving from massachusetts i was helping my parents move um so they live here in florida now you know i'm grateful for that so i'm here at the shop i got the starter in the back you're gonna see two arc sevens um i'll introduce you to those in a second but yeah, we got back at the shop. I'm here with my brother. We're cleaning it up because we just came. We were tired after a 24 hour drive and we just threw everything in the shop. We didn't care where it went. And we just went home and slept. So today is currently Wednesday and we came, cleaned up the shop. So I got my brother here sitting on the truck. Say what's up. What's going on? That's my brother, Sebastian. What's up? So here's the starlet, you know. We got a couple transmissions there. We got a whole bunch of parts that my dad had collecting in Massachusetts. Um, I rearranged the shop. So I got my dad's car here. Um, you, uh, stock chassis, 26 by eight and a half. Uh, 85, right? Bobby's car is a 85? 84. 84 Mazda RX-7. It's 13B. Um, it's going to be in the stick shift class. Um, we're hoping to take it out for October. And um, I'm going to be driving it. So I'm grateful for my dad to let me drive his car. He is well capable of driving it, but he says he's too old for events. He's not too old to drive. He's too old for events. So he's going to let me drive it. And then I got my brother's car here. Um, just sitting here. We're putting it back together. We're going to get it ready for October as well. Since he did come runner up last year. No, not last year. Last year it was me. The year before, uh, 2022, he came runner up. It's currently stripped out because we're doing some upgrades um, and doing a lot of, um, you know, newer stuff. It was on an LT10 fuel only um, with a distributor cap. It had uh, two MSD, six ALs. So we scratched all that, sold all that stuff. Um, and he's also going semi peripheral, so that's going to be a nice upgrade. The car did make uh, 700 the way it sat before, so we're hoping he wants a thousand. I don't know, he's pushing the limits, but he wants a thousand, so a thousand should be plenty for him to get into the sevens if the car hooks how it used to. Um, my dad cut the front both AS. So that has to play a lot. You know what I mean? Hopefully it, it hooks how it used to. This, I'm currently finishing up all the fuel lines. Um, I'm going to put the transmission up probably next week. So it'll have full drivetrain done, do all the fuel lines. Then I have to bring it to Dennis so he can put the fuel, uh, fuel tank and the radiator in the front, do all those fuel lines, and then we should be ready to... Go to our bed and um, get it tuned. This car, we did tune it once time with Guajo back in mass. And on 16 pounds, it made 600. 600 a, little, a little bit more than 600. Not 700, but it was in the, it was in the high 600s. Um, and then we had a problem where the um, map, sensor. map sensor. What happened to the map sensor? It just took a shit. It took a and shit and fire. it threw a backfire up the intake and it literally blew the mariposa bent in half, yeah, 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 everything. Fire. And also it wasn't on V-band, the, the peripheral, it was on couple, rubber couplers. So now we V-band it. My dad uh, welded this so it can be more sturdier and we have a different throttle body now. And um, yeah, for that, that's good. Um, Starlet is going to Dennis's house. Friday. Dennis got a lot of work. So Dennis, if you're watching the videos, all three. You gotta book an appointment for all three. Well, I'll make room for all three. Pa's car, Dennis told me, you know, Dennis told me end of May. The cars are these two. The Starlet ain't coming out, so the Starlet can wait. Yeah, but the Starlet's going Friday. My appointment was first before you two. It doesn't matter. So Starlet's going Friday to get catch can done, Pampel. And the turbo duck because I made mine out of HVAC. It, it works. It works. But we we're saw, gonna do. It. A couple miles an hour just we're gonna doing that. we're gonna do it the right way. Yeah. And um, like I said, my car might not come out, 
it's up in the air maybe maybe not yeah i think that's it right that's it your, your video was short i don't got much i'm not like, like you that doesn't post for years that's true yeah, I just posted my first video after four years of not posting it. If you want to go watch this video, what's your channel? Sebi Built. Sebi Built. Sebi Slow Built. Nah, Sebi Built. Sebi, Sebi takes years to record. He talks so much shit. <laughs> uh, I'm slow. I'm this and the third. Who adjusts your car? Who does huh? the boost controller on your car? Uh -huh. who, who does everything on your, on your car? Uh, well, well, everything. To go, to everything. To go fast. Everything. Reward yourself, brother. I don't gotta touch the motor. You can touch the motor, it doesn't mean it's gonna make it fast. I'm touching your motor. So? That doesn't mean it's gonna make the it fast. The mastermind is who sets up the car to go fast. I'm sorry, man. I'm editing this you out. Close. I'm editing this out. He's talking shit. I don't like it. You know we're close. I don't like it. He is gonna teach me how to touch the boost controller from my dad's how, car. How can a big body. I was 60 for the starter. This shit is shoebox on wheels. Everybody knows this the botellas. Everybody bro. knows the botellas. Even you know. What was wrong with the botellas? Huh? What was wrong with the botellas? That's your fault. They were blown. You, they were blown since you bought the Starlet freaking 10 years ago. Hey, leave me alone, all right? I won the damn thing. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Now it's got botellas. Now a hook. Yeah, but still, your huh. brother managed to do what? Get a 132 out of it on blown shocks. You're welcome. First of all, you might have set it up, but I did the 132. You drove it, but I set it up. We don't know what you did in it, other than blow up the transmission. Hey, you want a real driver? Go ahead, real driver. Richard, I'm a real driver. This guy's just a killer. I'm such a killer. My shit is a well built machine, yours is a pile of shit. <laughs> it didn't break? No. It ran the whole... Okay, the, the motor got hurt a little bit, but it ran the whole event still. It did the, it did the best pass on a low-compression motor. How many transmissions have you blown up in that car before you put the Jericho? Like four. Okay, then. It didn't break my ass. This is the first time my car breaks. Hey, these weren't built for that, all right? What, these things? Yeah, these Mine things. Mine never broke. These, these things weren't built for a man like me. Mine never broke, but yeah, I put a built transmission and it breaks. It'll make no sense to me. But yeah, I'm uh, a all jokes aside, we're we're gonna take oh, yeah. this this serious the uh, racing thing very seriously. We got the dream team here, hopefully. Yeah. So we're we're in the state where you know you're literally on top of your car twenty four seven. But that's um, why that's why we got all these. We need spares. We got all these. So we should be we should be plenty good. For this year, obviously we're gonna keep buying more. Um, well, I hope not. We don't buy more. I hope we just get some billets into them. I, 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 would, I don't got billet money. Hey, if everything goes well, we can we can make it happen. I'll give um, you a rundown on my brother's car. So, I bet made the mortar semi. I'm currently closing the mortar. Yep. I have I have to order a few things for the motor, like size seal, size seal spring, stuff like that. Yep. I'll order that, get his motor closed. The transmission the transmission is literally right there. Already. We have to drop your transmission. To take the McLeod clutch. So, the I already guys told you, but the McLeod clutch that's on the starlet is my brother's. So, I'm going to give him that back. Put my Iron Man disc with my right, Acete plate play and put the Turbo 2 back in it. So even if I want to use it or move it or whatever, I can do that. So close the motor, put the clutch on, put the transmission on, literally go in the car. Wire it up. My dad's going to wire it up that he got the computer. He got an LC16 with two digital MSD boxes. Wire Boost that. Controller. Boost controller he got. Dennis has to do the um, charge pipe and the up pipe. Yep. And the manifold. And the manifold. Well, Pop said he might do it. Okay, so then it's gonna do it. He got the tank, he got the radiator. I got everything. You, you need to buy a seat. I literally have everything to put it back together. Yeah. This car literally it might drive train wise, seat. drive train it's wise, there. the car is it's car's there. completely done. Yeah. Just a little miscellaneous stuff. And then to be honest, this car is this, closer. This car doesn't need do, this car doesn't need need much. A few fittings, yeah. Wire up a couple things. Um roll cage. We're just gonna, gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it. Yeah. 
So we're okay. We're gonna stay stay the same. Parachute is definitely a must. I have the parachute. Yeah, so we're gonna put a parachute on this one. Nathan Starlet, really not much. My car's about my it. car's it's done. done. My car's done. Literally, it turns on and everything. Drop the transmission, swap it, and he can. If you if we really want want to this, we can come up. We can go take it. Yeah. That's how ready it is. I'm actually I'm actually gonna hold off and putting the transmission back in it. Cause thinking about it, I want to buy a McLeod clutch for it. Give his back and just put another one back in it. But. but yeah, like I said, my car is going Friday, this Friday, to Dennis's house. When it comes back, it's literally going to be sitting in the same spot until whatever we decide to do with it. Yeah. My dad's car already started um, getting fittings together, doing some doing some lines on it. I got the fuel filter there. Um, get all that done. Like I said, I did all, all the oil lines. All that shit is done. Um... And then my brother's car, get his motor done, and then he's going to put it back together. Yep. And that's it. We don't got much. We got pretty much everything. Everything's sitting in boxes oh. scattered around the shop. Hopefully, this car, maybe in three, mo three months max, will be done. So we can go test. Because um, at the end of the day, I'm leaving the suspension alone for the simple fact that the car really... It works. And it worked really well. Um... Especially for having this tire, it did a, the best. Ever 127. Ever. 127, 60 foot on this tire. And now I can't. He's pointing at the Hoosiers, the same tires I got yeah, on the Starlet. I can't adjust the boost. So now I have um, boost, boost adjustment. Controller. So it is probably going to be a little hurdle because at the end of the day, more is going to be making more power. Um, different power band now due to the, the semi peripherals. Um, and the car's going to be a little lighter too. A little lighter, but. I'm not here to hold secret, secrets or anything like that. What I am going to do is I'm lighting up the front a lot. I'm moving pretty much CAT scan, um, battery. Um, there's going to be no radiator, no nothing. It's going to run just methanol, no cooling, no nothing. And the turbo is going to be pushed up farther than where it sat before. Yeah. So because I'm putting everything on the rear tire, and I'm trying to maximize that tire as much as possible, I am going to get lift bar whatever cut the ends of it weld it to the front of the car and i'm gonna buy some weights so i'm gonna be adjusting how the car reacts because these cars are known um especially in second gear when you apply a lot of power to them they like to lift up in there so if you guys don't know what we're talking about king bully is a good example of that yep. that car is always lifting up in second gear yep. no matter no matter how they come out the hole he puts second gear that bitch is going in the and air at the end of the day it's how you come after but with these cars that we're racing nowadays, like yeah. they're super fast in the first half of the track. So we need to throw everything, everything we can at right. these cars. So that's what he's doing. I, well, that's what we're assuming, but it seems the car definitely makes power and yeah. these cars always lift up in, in second gear. So I'm expecting to make a, roughly around the same power they're making. That's why I'm making, I guess, you know, that's what I'm trying to do as much as I can with the motor. So. And we're going to be doing a similar setup. We're trying to get this car to hook uh, the same as my brother's car, but it's a, lift, it's a little bit different little bit setup different. in the back mm -hmm. since my dad's car, the tubs aren't cut. So the minimum tire, we're literally, we're literally rubbing against the sidewall of the, of the inside of the chassis mm -hmm. with this tire, and it's a 26 by and a half. So, and not only that, these cars... Both these cars, my car and my father's car, were um, the suspension work was done by two different chassis guys. Yeah. So they it's might do it's totally different. Like yeah. the the ladder bars on my father's car, we gotta measure them. I'm gonna try to. I know you're not supposed to replicate because at the end of the day, even though they're the same body, it's they a are different. gonna react different yeah. at the end of the day. But I'm like I said, I got my car on lockdown suspension wise, so I kind of have a basis of. Um, what i can go off of and that's what we're going to apply to this car so i'm shooting for the same number 60 foot if it does anything in the 120s i'm happy i don't care if it does a 129 and that's the best it does at least it's doing something because i know this car yeah. is capable of having more power than this one our goal is to run somewhere high in the eights with my yeah. dad's car consistent consistently we also have to keep in fact that they might kick us out because of the road cage so we're, we can dial it back. Even if we can't go into stick shift in October, we're going to bracket and maybe dial it for the 10 O's or something. 950, go to the 950 index. But, 
Yeah. I want to I wanna go into stick shift class with my dad's car because cause we ain't scared of nobody. We're running with whoever. And I'm a big... We're, we like heads up racing. Point yeah. point point blank. We like heads up racing. We don't. We anything can happen at the line. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's racing. Yeah. Shit happens. Yeah, I give you the update. You know, we'll be back um, soon. I'll be posting another video of doing all the fuel lines on my dad's car. I just need to get a couple more fittings, and also Friday I'll be recording. Me and my brother are gonna head down to Dennis's house, yep. um, and drop that off, and you know maybe. Uh, Shoot the shit a little bit, you know, laugh. Hang out with the guys. But yeah, so that's what's going on. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, see you in the next one.